What's cooking? Is there supposed to be apples in it? No, it's pumpkin pie. So today we're going to answer the question, can you make a three layer pumpkin pie fully encased in crust? Why are we answering this question? Because it's Ryan's birthday and pumpkin pie is his favorite, but he doesn't want a pumpkin pie. He wants a three layer pumpkin pie all encased in crust so that when you cut into it, you have those like beautiful layers, like with a pretty layer cake, but he doesn't want a layer cake because I could make a layer cake. Instead, we're gonna attempt to make a pie. So I think I'm gonna use a springform pan so that I can hopefully not just make a complete mess. And I have consulted with some experts and we're gonna try our best to uh, not make a total mess. So we're gonna use just the standard pumpkin pie recipe on the back of the Libby's pumpkin puree can. And I'm also gonna use Krusty's wonderful pie crust mix because um, I don't feel confident in my pie crust making skills or any of my pie making <laughs> skills. But because it's his birthday, he gets what he wants. And it might be a delicious, beautiful birthday pie or a total recipe for disaster. First thing we're gonna do is read the instructions, which we've definitely done before this moment right now that we're making this pie. And we're gonna do the famous pumpkin pie. We're not gonna do the new fashion pumpkin pie because I don't know. So let's open this up. Well, let's not open this up. Let's read the instructions. This part, we're not gonna mess up. This part, we're not gonna mess up. We're gonna mess up this part. So we need cinnamon, ground ginger, which I didn't grab. Ooh, do we have ground ginger? Ruh row. We have ground ginger, cloves, and oh yeah, I grabbed nutmeg instead of ginger. Huh, and salt. Two teaspoons ground cinnamon. Two teaspoons ground cinnamon. One teaspoon ground ginger. We're very precise in this kitchen. Half a teaspoon of ground cloves. Ooh, remember what happened last time I made pie and I didn't put the top back on? And then we are going to sprinkle, oh! <coughs> yeah, me too so that everyone can remember forever. Half a teaspoon, ground cloves. We're checking because we really want this to work out. One teaspoon salt. One and a half cups sugar. Four eggs. We're gonna make it with love. And even though it's April, pumpkin pie does smell good. Open up the can and it smells like fall. All right, so the filling's done. Now we have to make the crust. I lied, I forgot about the milk. <laughs> Could we edit out this? Probably, are we going to? No. Gradually stir in milk. This was my concern, right? Because pumpkin pie filling is very liquidy. Now that we have an obscene amount of pumpkin pie filling made with love. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna work on our crust. I'm not gonna measure it because we're making all of it. Is this a mistake? Potentially. Four to six tablespoons of water. So the goal here is to add water until a dough forms. Should I? Get my hands involved, I think. Let's try. Okay. Okay, so on a well-floured surface. Also, let's talk about how excited I am to have a counter that doesn't have like those tiles so that I don't have to use the cutting board to do this. We're gonna call that well-floured. Divide this into four balls. So we want one kind of big one in the bottom of the springform pan and then we want two layers in the middle and then a crust on top. So I'm gonna use half of it for the whole like structure of it. And then this, uh, maybe I should use slightly three quarters. That's not how numbers or math or fractions work, but I'm gonna flatten and roll the dough into a circle. How do people get them into such great circles? We'll never know. There's no way we could ever tell. It's fine, guys, it's fine. Do I start over or does that, do we feel like that's a bad idea? Why am I whispering? 
So we have the spring form here. So it says fold it in fourths and then put it in. Oops. How do we feel about this? We're not trying to achieve perfection. We are just trying to achieve a triple decker pie. A triple decker pie atrocity. It's like arts and crafts, right? Like you just find a way to make it work. If I keep saying, okay, it'll be okay. That's how that works. Is it pretty? No. Is it crust? Maybe. Ryan doesn't like my words of wisdom. If you don't try, you'll never fail. And then you don't have to feel bad about failing. So the bottom part looks like we're very happy with that. Um, some of that looks a little like, you know, interesting, but that's just gonna add more structure to the, the pie once we have many layers, which, which we want, that's, that's, that's what we want. So here's the question, folks. With pumpkin pie, you cook it in an unbaked crust is what it says, but, I feel like for the middle layers, we need to at least have the crust baked a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two rounds so that I can pre-bake those a little bit. We're gonna try this. Jonathan suggested that I try to pre-bake some and I think that's what I'm gonna to try to do here. So I'm gonna put these onto a silicone baking sheet and I'm gonna just bake them for like, how long? 10 minutes. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I remember seeing this on things for pies. Did I do this for the last pumpkin pie I made? Uh, we may have set off the fire alarm a little bit. Sir, are you gonna tippy taps the whole time? We've got these cooked. We got a little brown on the edges, but that's okay. We're just gonna, we've got the oven preheating to 425. We're gonna put this one on here. Is it a precise science? No. Is it a science at all? No. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this on top. And we're just gonna crimp it. I mean, it has to be on the inside because the springform pan needs to come off, right? So we're just gonna do this. Nothing's leaking out the sides, so that's like, that's like good. I feel like we should just, so that it vents a little. Oh, I can feel the other crust piece, so that's good. It means it hasn't like sunk down. Got, nothing's leaking out. Just slide that in there. We have a pie, maybe? Um, and we're gonna see if it's cooked all the way through and also if it'll hold together. Okay, that looks like a pie, right? Oh no. Oh no. Well, there are layers. Ooh, it's hot. Should we take out the same piece? Oh, that looks a little more like pie. How do we feel about that? We've got layers, kind of. <laughs> Let's cut another piece from this side here. Okay, so on the upside, there are crust layers. They kind of all ended up at the top. I'm not quite sure how that happened. I assumed that the crust would like sink, but it didn't. But this is actually cooked now. So I would say it's marginally successful. It's just, you know that cake in Sleeping Beauty 
where it's just like at an angle and it just starts to droop. I feel like this pie is the, this cake is the pie version of that. Cause it's just, you know, a really solid attempt. <laughs> 